Greetings, everybody, and my name is Fresh Tango, by the way, if you haven't already known yet, and welcome to episode 5 of the Dragoness Let's Play series, Tinker Edition. So when we last left off, I was doing, again, some more story quests and uh, running a dungeon over in Iced Wind Valley Pass, and I'm just about to turn in a few quests here. In terms of... Oh! Level 9! Yes! I've learned a new skill. Bubble Bubble. I believe that's what it's called. Bubble... Oh, Bubble Trouble. That's what it's called now. Let's take a look at it. Fires a giant bubble that traps enemies and grants shields to allies. So you basically shoot a bunch of bubbles on the ground and it'll bounce off enemies and possibly land in one of your allies which will uh, become a temporary shield for them. That's basically what Bubble Trouble is. A really good uh, PvP move in terms of protecting your uh, teammates there. But that will not be, since it is a magic move, it will not be part of my uh, skills. Can I level anything up right now? Nope. Except Napalm. Uh, I need to get Napalm to level 3 so that I can unlock Starburst or Stun Grenade. Let's see. Okay. Onward then. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Commission board. Alright, so you can see right here, as I've said in a previous episode, the commission board. When you have any quests that you can do, there will be a little scroll that pops up on top of the board. So let's see what we can do here. Marion's Hall. So this is a pretty self-explanatory um, quest here. All you have to do is run Marion's Hall on normal difficulty or higher, and uh, it'll give you the EXP pretty quickly here. So... I think I'm better than that. Let's do uh, Marion's Hall. Marion's Hall. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I think I've run this already multiple times. Mm -hmm. Let's just do a quick blasting of this place. Ouch. I'm gonna take out this little destructive goblin guy first, because he's gonna be the most annoying out of all of them. Okay. Ouch. Electrocute in the face. No. can't wait until my guy gets to level 12. That's when you start getting your bodyguard Alfredo to come in and help you. Pretty awesome. That's what I love about the engineer. You can just send out so many minions to help you in this game. So if you're running solo, uh, especially as an engineer, it'll be really, really, really easy. There's also a move on the engineer. Um, it's a vending machine, I believe. And it will pop out food and drink for you to eat and replenish your health. Oh, really? I'm actually dying. Die. Oh, yes, tasty meat. Okay. Get that kid. Ooh, Lebrium Fragment. I need some of that. More inventory space? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, don't need sapphire, don't need this thing, don't need this thing. Don't need bubble blasters, because I'm not an alchemist. There we go, I'll pick this up as well. Okay. Onward. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Just set 
some napalm grenades over here. Wreck some nubs. Don't you hit me. Uh, come on and die already. All right. Cleared out all the enemies there. And onward. Let's see, where's that shaman kid? I'm gonna take him out before he summons any um any unwanted enemies. Oh that guy's tough. Alright, there we go. That kid's done. I'm so hungry right now. I feel like eating some meats. Whoa. There's another shaman. Okay, that's good. Yeah, at the start of this game, the amount of moves that you have are really limited. Like, I'm limited to three moves right now that I'm repeatedly using. But later on, you'll get tons of moves. You'll probably get about 15 to 20 moves, depending on your skill build that you plan on doing. Getting lots of moves is pretty cool, pretty flashy, but in a sense, um, it may not actually uh, affect your guy in a positive manner. Because the more moves you have, the less, um, the less powerful your other moves will be. So if you don't have a lot of moves, then they'll obviously be more powerful in your skill build. So you kind of have to balance that out when you're uh, planning out your Tinker build. And you really have to plan out, um, why is that guy see-through? Or transparent? That's weird. But you really have to plan out what you want your build to be um, when you get to level 40. I suggest that you do that. Because I believe you only have a few chances to re-spec or re-modify your character. And after that, you have to pay a hefty amount just to respect. I think it's $20 on the shop, which is crazy ripoff. But I, I, I guess I understand. This is a free-to-play game, and Nexon has to make money. But still, that's just way too much money. Ah, I die already. Oh, where'd you go? There we go. Get wrecked in the face, please. I'm gonna take care of this kid, and this kid, and this kid, and this kid. Oh, it's gonna be much better once I'm running with more people here. Alright. And... We are done with the dungeon level 10 oh, garbage all garbage nobody cares about rocks onward okay let's talk to oh, get out of my way Alright, nice, I unlocked Gobarta, the Daredevil Derby, and Boss Rush. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. I'll probably go over that in my Let's Play sometime, sometime or another. But let me quickly exit the dungeon here. Closest field. And so again, now that I have a completed commission, you can see that there's a little sack or bag that is popped up on top of it. So you can take an additional 2,000. Oh dang it. Uh, again, I don't need rocks. Again, you can uh, get a treasure pouch. Are you serious? You get a treasure pouch for completing the uh, dungeon, as well as extra EXP, but the main goal here is the EXP. Alright. 
So, I'm a level 10 now. That's pretty good already. Um, within, let me check, within the first two hours of playing this game on a Tinkerer. So we're one-fourth of the way there, guys. And the fun is not going to end there. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 5 of this Let's Play series. Please like and subscribe if you are satisfied with this video. And stay tuned for a more uh, constant feed of this Tinkerer gameplay. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know on the comment section below. I am very happy to um, reply to any of the suggestions that you have. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.